Hey guys, so today I'm going to be looking at people who don't like their crush anymore. So yeah, let's just get right into the video. We talked about exes. She mentioned how she should have cheated on him because he was boring to be with. Yeah, I'm out. <laughs> Someone just admitting that they're willing to cheat on their boyfriend. Yeah. That's a big red flag. This might sound dumb, but I was dating someone briefly several years ago that I had a red flag moment and walked away. We had only gone on a few dates and hadn't become intimate yet. He came to my house when I had just bought my first car and he sat on the hood. I asked him not to do that and he just laughed. After a few more times asking and him blatantly ignoring and mocking me, I dropped him off. If he couldn't even manage respecting such a small boundary, I wasn't interested in giving him a chance not to respect others. You did the right thing, it's not dumb. Like honestly, if you tell someone not to do something and they keep on doing something, yeah, they just don't respect you. They just don't wanna to listen to you. They think you're the dumb one. Yeah, no thank you. This girl I had a crush on early on in high school told me that she recently broke up with her last boyfriend because his dad passed away suddenly. And as she put it, he wouldn't stop being depressed and a crybaby about it. I didn't talk to her much again after she said that. How do you break up with someone when they're still mourning their dad? And you're gonna say that they're a crybaby for being sad about it? Wow, this is one heartless woman. So what, she's not gonna cry when her parents die? Because she has no heart, that's why. I figured out he was dating me and two other girls and playing each other against us. One night at a party, one of the other girls wanted to fight. Honestly, I was drunk and tired and was getting in my friend's car to leave when she tried to start a fight with me over him. I just said, tell your friends we got into a fight and you won. Oh, sorry, you can have him. I got in the car and went home to bed. That was the day I decided I would never fight over a guy. If he wants to be with me, he will be with me. Oh, yeah, for sure. If, you know, you tell someone to pick you or someone else, that man does not deserve you or that woman does not deserve you, okay? You don't need someone to pick between two people. If they wanted you, they will always just want you. They don't need to pick. Oh my gosh. Oh, he littered, just opened his car door and dropped out a McDonald's bag on the ground. That killed him right there. Ew. Yeah, that's the biggest turn off ever. What? He just threw rubbish out of his car. Come on. You can't wait until you get home and just throw it in the trash. He was rude and dismissive to my little brother. I know little brothers can be annoying, but he, brother 13, wasn't being nosy or disrespectful. He just wanted to know if my crush liked video games. I'm also really close to my siblings and wanted them to be included. The next boyfriend I had, now husband, spent hours teaching my little brother to play old school Starcraft. And to this day, six years later, they still play video games together at least once a week. Upgrades, people. <laughs> Man, goals. Oh hooked up with her cousin and had a baby with him. Yeah, yeah. Um, don't get with that for sure, man. <laughs> Tried to pour vodka into my drink when I wasn't looking. I would fight this person, I was like, come on. If I tell someone that I don't drink, right, and they do this kind of stuff, yo. Mm-mm-mm. Asked for my number to set me up with her friend. Oh. <laughs> hey, that's still kind of good. Noticed an attractive woman a few times at a local hangout spot. One evening, we struck up a conversation. This led to a series of casual hookups. We'd usually meet somewhere, which kept it light and casual. One night, she invited me to her place. Pretty quickly, I realized that this was the home of a married couple. Couple pictures, etc. I asked if she was married and she said yes, but it was okay because he was out of town on a fishing trip. I'm not a saint, but it really bothered me because I didn't consent to having an affair with a married woman. I noped out of there and didn't look back. Ew. <sighs> Cheetahs are freaking disgusting. We had made plans for Halloween. We were supposed to go to a club and meet some friends. She ended up saying she was sick and stayed home. About a week later, I'm going to drop her off at a house and she told me what she really did on Halloween. She went to a different club with her friends, not ours. There was plenty of other issues in the relationship, but that one truth is what made me snap. I just dropped her off without saying anything, and a few days later, I broke up with her. I don't think she even cheated, just too much lying and manipulation. Yeah, lying in a relationship is obviously not the way to go. 
because then you're just gonna keep on lying to cover up a lie and to lie again to cover up another lie. Tore up the only ever Valentine's card I ever gave. I was 14 or 15 in front of me and laughed. How are you gonna break someone's heart like that? Like you can reject them and be like, sorry, I don't feel that way about you. You don't have to like freaking tear up a gift they gave you. Like a card is something so heartfelt and they put so much effort into writing a card and you're just gonna tear it up. You're a horrible person. When I was 17 and my first year at uni, I made friends with a girl in my year. It wasn't like instant crush, but she was funny and I grew to like her. One day we were going home after classes together. Turns out we lived pretty close to each other, chatting and joking. And at one moment she says, I really like talking to you, just about anything. I would have jumped you right now if you weren't so ugly. I was a really awkward teenager, severely underweight, skin problems and some other complexes. On top of that, very introverted, so it outright killed my remained self-esteem. Thing is that she actually didn't realize the effect of her words. It was like a passing comment to her and wasn't said with malicious intent. That fact actually made these words even more hurtful. Why would she say that? Why would she just call someone ugly like it's a normal thing to say? Even if you're thinking it, just don't say it. Weird. Are these people like dumb? Like they don't think or something? They just don't care if they hurt someone's feelings? <sighs> Told me that the reason she hung around me was to get close to my very tall best friend. They dated for three weeks before he dumped her. Okay. On our only date, he picked me up and then parked in a disabled parking space because it was busy. Years of feelings for this man left my body in seconds. <laughs> yeah. It only takes one thing for someone to do for you to just be disgusted by them. Started dating with someone else right after I confessed to her. She didn't say yes or no. She just said she need more time. And one day later, she said, wait for me to leave him or give up. Dude, I realize this is so many people is the fact that they're always like, I'm not ready. And then they start dating the next week. <laughs> Like, does it make them realize something about relationships that all of a sudden they're like, you know what, I actually want to date someone else but not you, but I'm just not ready for you. <laughs> I don't get it. We had been going out for a few weeks and on the way home from a party, we went to get McDonald's and he paid for me. I have an allergy and they got my order wrong. I asked and it wasn't a problem. They made me a new burger and told me to keep the incorrect one as they couldn't resell it. I offered it to him. He didn't want it, so I said I would just bring it home to give it to my housemate so it wouldn't go to waste. He was completely fine with this. Then a homeless guy came in and started asking at the tables for change. I offered him the burger and he took it. My date went crazy at me for giving away the burger that he had paid for, even though he was okay with me giving it to my housemate and followed the homeless man shouting at him to give it back. Then got the guy kicked out of the restaurant. It was terrifying. He went from easygoing and charming to furious in a split second. Then when he sat down again, he acted like everything was normal and asked if I wanted to go home with him. It was a side of him I hadn't seen before. I'm glad he showed his true colors early. That's so scary. Like you think someone is so nice and so kind, but you can't even offer food to a homeless person without them getting mad. Why is he getting mad? Oh my God, doesn't make sense, dude. Like they already got two burgers, so one of the burgers is free. And he's still gonna go crazy at her, giving the homeless man a burger and then chase the homeless man to get it back. Are you crazy? Are you stupid? Freaking hell, <laughs> makes me mad. She mentioned her last name, I recognized it. It's probably a good thing. Found out her grandmother was my grandfather's older sister. It worked out okay. We were on a double date sorta of deal with her friend and my friend. We found that out pretty early in the night. We literally laughed our asses off for 15 minutes, making incest jokes and traded dates. I ended up dating her friend for about four years. Whoa, it, wow, it all worked out. They just swapped dates. <laughs> Well, I guess we can't be dating because we might freaking have the same blood. Okay, let's just swap dates. That's crazy. I can't believe this actually happens in real life, man. Like, I remember reading an article where someone was dating their own long lost brother. But they just didn't know until they did like a test, you know. Mm. Seriously, how? What are the coincidences? How? Turns out she had absolutely no filter. She took pride in saying what was on her mind, which was kind of cute at first, until I realized that she actually meant it. Every thought in her head spewed out of her mouth no matter who could hear it. Not a day went by where she didn't get into an argument with someone over some insensitive or insulting comment that she made. <gasps> this is the kind of person who's like, but I'm just being honest. 
They think being honest is like a good thing. Like you don't have to say whatever's on your mind all the time. Well, that's it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Tell me in the comments down below what your thoughts are. And as always, thanks for watching. Hope you guys liked it and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.